DMCast. Hey, welcome to the MCast. Uh, this is Hans with Hector, and as you can probably see, we've got a few extra guys here, uh, part, of the, part of our design team. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Mm. Uh, John Edwards, uh, lead designer. Uh, Paul Garcia, the other lead designer. Uh, Brian LeBaron, designer. So these are the guys that actually uh, really design the games, the moves that you see. A lot of you guys have been asking a lot of questions of Hans and I on Twitter over the last uh, few weeks, and as much as we would like to uh, to answer a lot of them, we don't necessarily have the... We're, uh, we're not qualified, Yeah, the, the 360 <laughs> degrees of, of knowledge that these guys uh, uh, have in here. So we decided yeah. to bring these guys uh, on board today to kind of show you guys and talk to you guys a little bit about the uh, the real nuts and bolts of the game. But uh, before we get into your questions, I guess... Uh, it's been pretty, yeah, yeah, it's been pretty busy the uh, last couple months over the last couple things. Uh, yeah, a lot of, lot of travel, a uh, lot of uh, shows to really show off the game. I mean, like we were, we went to uh, Gamescon in Germany. Yeah. Uh, there was a uh, GameStop event down in San Antonio, was yeah, it, that we did? Yeah, we did. Um, we had E3 earlier this yeah, summer, there was, and then uh, and was, we uh, just had PAX, yeah. you know, recently. Um, PAX was the first time that we were actually able to bring the build of the game out to the public and actually have, you know, free reign. Anybody that wanted to, to pay the money to come into the show or was able to come and uh, play the game, these guys actually came up. How did you guys feel about uh, PAX and actually seeing people playing the game for the first time in front of you? Uh, it was cool. It was cool. Um, you know, it's always a little nerve-wracking the first time you see, you know, a bunch of people just randomly picking up controllers and you only have a nice controlled environment to kind of uh, dictate what they should be doing. Um, so, you know, you see a lot of you know, weird things cropping up here and there, so it's almost like a little mini QA session uh, as well, but it's really cool to see the fans' uh, reaction to stuff. I think the game showed pretty well. I mean, it was, honestly, it was pretty solid. I don't think we really had any real issues at all. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it was, it was probably one of, the, one of the better showings we've had in a while. Um, yeah, you know, I was really nervous going in there that, you know, horrible things were going to happen. Uh, it worked out. Yeah. Uh, how do you guys feel about showing the game off at such an early stage kind of in development? It's a mixed bag where a lot of times we're, we're scared to show off features, but in the, in the same place, it's also exciting to, to get some of it out there and get feedback. We had, we had some crazy lines out there. I mean, it was like it was a constant flow of people wanting to play the game. Was, uh, a couple guys I saw went through like three or four times in a day. It was yeah, they would come through and like ask, you know, questions. Each time they come through, like, oh, how do you do this? And they go, plus like, wait, oh, didn't I just see you like 10 minutes ago? But other than that, I mean, the last couple months have just been uh, really pumping out all the yeah. content. We've had a bunch of shoots. I know you guys have been, uh, you guys have been involved in the shoots. I don't know, Brian, like, uh, maybe you can, like, talk the guys through on how we actually get ready for, like, a motion capture suit for, like, a character and stuff. Well, our first, uh, the first thing we'd like, like to do is, like, we know what the special moves are going to be for, for a lot of the characters. So, because we you know from previous games, and uh, what we like to do is come up with, you know, okay, well, this is, okay, do we, MK2, MK3, which one of their special moves do we want to use? Then we kind of look at it and say, okay, um, is there a way we can make this better? Maybe kind of change it up a little bit, but keep the same feel and the same uh, gameplay as we had before that people know and love. And uh, we know when we go into vocab, we come up with ideas and say, okay, let's try it this way, try it that way. We get the, the animations back from them. And then, uh, you know, we kind of tweak them out and we all kind of look at it, throw it through QA, you know, have a couple people look at it and play it and see how it is, you know. And, uh, how nervous are you guys for changing things up? I know a lot of people, when they have this idea of Scorpion in their mind, they yeah. kind of have this, uh, this kind of, uh, you know, ideal way of, hey, Scorpion has to do these things. Like, how, how hard is it for you guys to kind of, like, yeah, it's a huge take it to the next level? Like, when we, we, we think about recreating or changing a move, we all, like, have our own issues with it. I'll be like, oh, well, you know, I don't want it to go this way. And everybody will be like, oh, I want it to go this way. And we have to keep the specific element. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and we try and stay true to the, uh, you know, the original stuff, so. A ton of Square Waves is a good example of a, a move that's pretty different, but behaves the same as the digital square wave move, but it looks a lot better in the animation. Yeah, we're trying to, to, to maybe take some of the stuff like for, for the past 2D games where um, animation quality was not quite as uh, as good as it is nowadays, right? Because we can't, you know, just back then it was just, you yeah, know, individual frames. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You have some of the, you know, seven frames of, you know, of a pose, obviously, cannot, you know, look as cool as what we can do nowadays. So we're really trying to take some of those old classic moves and reimagine them. So property-wise, they are kind of the same, yeah. but visually they're, you know, way, way, way... But, but that's not stopping you guys from, like, thinking of some new cool moves, too. I mean, it's, you're oh, not, no. like, sticking with just the old set. No, yeah, I mean, you know, this is kind of like a reimagining of, of, of Mortal Kombat. So, um, while we are trying to keep 
uh, the personality of the fighters, you know, prevalent. We also want to make sure that there's enough new stuff there for for fans. Like no one wants to play the exact same game, you know, time after time after time. So um, it is kind of a challenge finding out those places where we want to keep the game the same, and the places where we kind of want to innovate a little bit more. Wow. Um, who of the uh, who of the characters that you guys have shown now is uh, is your favorites now, as far as like working on their moves and, and making them? I know that you're a huge Katana fan, so I don't yeah. even have to ask you. But uh, but these guys <laughs> of the characters that you guys have been working on, who have you guys put together that you're like, wow, this is this is the blank blank that I've always wanted to play. It's usually the last guy I'm working on. I don't think um, I've never really had a solid favorite. Even when I was playing fighting games, I've always like I've, I've always tried to learn every character equally. I, uh, that's why I was like random select in the old MK games was the fact that you could uh, that you could that you had to pretty much master every character. Is it also partially because like you come up with new ideas that you're like, oh, I'm implementing on this guy. Yeah. Now he's my favorite. Or, yeah, every he's every my favorite. Every character that we make, you know, we learn something from from that one, and yeah. so that's you know can can you know form the new ideas for characters that are kind of coming up. And in a lot of cases, that's actually you know bad for us because we'll come up with something really cool. Like you know what, everyone needs to have something like this. <laughs> and we have to go back and and change you know all the past characters. So how do you guys feel about? Now let's just take two examples. I'll take, you know, Cyrex, which is one of the last revealed characters that we had. We obviously revealed him at Gamescom, and then somebody like Johnny Cage, who was available at E3. Do you guys go back and revisit somebody like Johnny Cage once you've completed somebody like Cyrex and have, have kind of like perfected things, or like how do you guys? Uh, yeah, like deal Johnny with Cage that? has a has a couple of combos that he didn't have in in E3 that he had in packs, or even even uh, even like last week. Um, I added a couple of combos to Rep's Helmet. He didn't have it um, back then, and, and, and we changed the way some moves work. So it's, um, it's pretty much always an ongoing process where we have to go back to characters we've already done and rebalance them as we're adding new ones. So yeah. it's pretty safe to say that, you know, a lot of the gameplay videos that have been put out online are yeah, that always, yeah, that always <laughs> hurts us. Like, uh, like, uh, like, even, at PAX, even at PAX, the, the um, builder we were playing at PAX was already way older than any of the stuff we had, like some blocking properties that changed, combo breakers that changed since, since the PAX build. And then we always have these like these like big gameplay changes, but 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 with the press builds, we've got to be really safe on, 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 on the changes we make. So Now, now you do realize stuff. by just saying that, we're going to get like a thousand Twitter yes. emails yeah. saying like, we need more video, we need more right. yeah. people, people are going to want to see what these changes are, but uh, but it's a good thing. You know, I don't want, and I'm sure you guys feel the same way, I know you don't want people to make judgments on what this game is going to be like this early in the process. Yeah. Like, we're still trying you know, to figure out, I want to give you guys a taste, but... Yeah, one of the things is like the demos that we've shown, you know, it's really early compared to where we have in the past in the terms of where we are in development. Usually oh, yeah, it's totally. just a few months before release. We're literally like half a year or more mm -hmm. just showing you guys stuff that, you know, it's just very, very early. And, you know, when people say, you need to change that, goes, trust us, we're, yeah, we're still really balancing, is. we're still tweaking. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. we haven't even gotten to like the real yeah. balancing phase of stuff, yeah. right? You know, like once the cast is kind of complete, we can got to go through and get an idea of where individual characters are at and where they fit as yeah. far as, you know, um, um, completeness and uh, at that point that's when we really start focusing on getting everybody you know cleaned up tweaked out you know I heard a, I heard a quote once and basically what they said was that you know character balancing is kind of the dark arts of the video game world it's it's very complicated very yeah. you know very involved kind of thing like I don't know maybe you guys can kind of speak to that like what that process is of actually balancing a character versus somebody else like how do you not stop yourself from giving your character or your favorite character just that little bit of edge over the other one? Like, how do you guys kind of limit yourselves? Um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> 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 they don't want to give their secrets away. Yeah, <laughs> <that's not laughs> the secret, um, but yeah. I mean, just very basic, very general. I'm not, you know, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Well, most funny games are built, are, are made around systems, right? So there's, there's complete systems that kind of every character has to kind of fall into. Um, you know, it's like, you know, super meter stuff and, you know, our tag mode and, you know, throws and blocks and, you know, get up attacks. All these kind of things are, are kind of large systems that get balanced kind of outside of the realm of an individual character. And then individual characters have their own personality as far as how they kind of interact within those systems. And that's where, like, the real hard tweaking kind of gets. It's easy for us to say, hey, you know what, um, let's put damage scaling on combos so that, you know, as each hit of a combo increases, you know, the damage goes down so people can't, you know, bust out, you know, nine hit, you know, 300% combos. Um, 
but then there may be characters that, that kind of don't follow that rulings that they may have resets or something kind of reset the combo uh, of right. the, the damage scaling and whatnot. Fit more of the characters, you know, persona or style is what you're saying. Yeah, just kind of balancing yeah. it. And a lot of it is ongoing, dude. That's 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 um that's some of the big thing. And at some point down the line, as soon as we have like most of the characters done, um, we plan on bringing in a lot of people to to just sit there and play test the game for for a good while to to sit there and balance things out. We were under such like um, time constraints that we weren't able to. To, to get a lot of that QA time. Yeah, I'm totally. Talking. That's been one of the really good things about being under Warner Brothers. Yes. And, yeah. you know, we've been pushing that a lot. And I think we've all, you know, said that in at least yeah. one or two interviews collectively is that being under Warner Brothers is just allowing us that that extra kind of buffer window yeah. to kind of polish the well, game. The, the proper and, time to actually balance work. Yeah, like, to actually do the things. Not, the you know, not saying that we, you know, we didn't do a good enough job in some of the older ones, but just having, you know, any game developer will tell you if you have that one extra day, the, you know, these are the things that I would have changed. You know, if I had two more days, this is what, if I had three more days, now we have that kind of like, you know, they're not giving us infinity, yeah. but, but they're, they're the, giving us a window a, to do it is, is, exactly. is much more yeah. um, bigger and more flexible than yeah. what we had. Well, the other thing too is like, you know, no matter how much kind of QA time you put into a game or a developer, if, if I hired, you know, 200 you know, testers to come in the last, you know, several months to uh, to bang on the game. Like, the first day that our game comes out, people saw right? There's it's, thousands of people. You know, yeah. hopefully millions, but, <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, there'll be hundreds of thousands of hours in that first day yeah. of people playing it. Like, there's really no way to kind of prepare fully for that. So... you got to hire um, a million testers. Yeah, or hire a million testers. Yeah, that, that's going to hurt our budget. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We might have to. Yeah. Um, so something we've done this year, which I think is a pretty clever idea, um, is... Uh, most of our gameplay stuff, as far as characters and systems, is tweakable after the game ships, uh, without having to, to put out a complete patch. So, if we do put out something and there's some broke, you know, someone has an infant or something like that, um, it should be fairly trivial for us to fix that uh, at some point in the short term. Yeah, and without having to wait, you know, eight months to throw out a huge patch, and we can just kind of go in there and fix it on the fly. So. Um, while, of course, everyone's goal as a game developer is to try to, you know, release a bug-free product, um, it's really tough, especially with the way that, you know, game development is kind of going nowadays and how big games are and how complicated they are, especially with a fighting game where yeah. balance is so important um, and where we're constantly changing characters, you know, all the way up until, um, you know, up to ship. Yeah. It's really important that we, uh, we have a feature like that, so pretty excited about it.